Got a bit of an update from Intel for you today as they have finally begun their 10nm fabrication facility and the prototyping phase is expected to start soon. They're going to be entering a trial production stage this quarter and the costs for doing so have been counted in their financials for the third quarter of this year. And they also reaffirmed that the 10nm Canon Lake processors are on track. And if they follow their sort of previous patterns with this sort of thing, they'll be entering trial production later this year and they'll ramp up volume production by the first half of 2017. Now, we've spoken at length on this channel about 14nm. Now, that was delayed by a pretty hefty six to nine months and... Despite this, they still managed to keep their lead, that was Intel of course over third parties such as say TSMC and Samsung and Intel have made it a point to mention that the advantages of 14nm which include better gate length pitches and SRAM scaling among other things will remain in effect for 10nm at least. The scaling will remain the same while the density rises and the cost per transistor goes down. Now, Intel are also claiming that the rollout time for 10nm will be 50% faster than 14nm, or up to 50% faster, should I say. Now, switching the subject slightly, Intel confirmed that their KB Lake series of processor, which is the last iteration of the TikTok scheme of 14nm processors, have already started shipping out to consumers. So basically they're beginning production this quarter and the 10nm Canon Lake processors are on track which means the second half of 2017. Sadly no more specific release date as part of this particular update but at least it's on track and the rollout is not going to see the hefty delay hopefully of 14nm as I said it was delayed to about 6-9 to nine months depending on your perspective. But it seems that 10nm will not suffer that fate and the rollout will be significantly quicker on this particular one. I'm guessing whatever problems they suffered, they have ironed out for this time. And hopefully production does not produce many problems so we can see a swift and on-time release for Canon Lake at the last end of 2017. So there you have it, a rather nice update from Intel there for you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.